Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe, and today I'm going to show you some exercises for shoulder instability. Let's get started. Disclaimer alert! Disclaimer alert! With shoulder instability, a lot of times it comes from a shoulder dislocation, and a lot of times after you dislocate it the first time, you're very likely to dislocate it again. So keeping the muscles strong around the shoulder joint really helps keep that joint in place and not wiggle around and potentially pop back out. So using a TheraBand or any kind of resistive band is very helpful in keeping those muscles nice and strong. The yellow is the lightest one. That's probably the one you want to start off with and then you can work on up to different colors and different resistances. So the first exercise is going to be a shoulder external rotation going out this way. You really want to keep your elbows by your side. A lot of times when people are doing these exercises they tend to come out like this but then you're not really doing that external rotation anymore. So if you need to roll up a towel and put it between your body and your elbow to keep them close together you can. Otherwise just try and keep them nice and tight. Hold on to the band with both hands with your thumbs up. Try and keep your wrists in a pretty neutral position and then just come outwards pulling. Slowly come back in. You want to make sure you're controlling the band. Don't let the band control you. So you don't have to go out far because then those elbows are going to start coming out a little bit. Just go as far as you comfortably can without leaving your side with those elbows. So maybe start off with just 10 or 15 and then work your way up from there. If you get to 20 or 25, then you probably want to go to a more resistive band. So the next exercise is going to be shoulder internal rotation. So this time you're coming in towards your body. You want to hook your band onto either like a doorway, have somebody hold it onto you, or wrap it around something. So still keeping your thumb up, keeping that elbow towards your side. So if you need to put that towel in between, you can. And this time just coming in towards your stomach and then slowly coming back out. You don't have to go all the way out this way, some people do, but just bring it back into that neutral position. So coming in and then slowly coming back out. Again, starting off with 10 to 15 and then kind of working your way up from there. Then you can hold the band down on your foot. That was amazing, wasn't it? It just let go. So now you're gonna be doing a shoulder flexion motion. Again, still keeping that thumb up on top Make sure you're anchoring the band down with your foot so it doesn't come flying up. And this time you want to keep your arm straight, that elbow locked out, and then just bring it up to about a 90 degree angle. So not all the way up, but just to about where you're straight out, and then slowly come back down. So not going fast, making sure you're controlling that band. And then you're going to do an extension, shoulder extension. So still keeping that thumb in that forward position, stepping on the band so you don't pop yourself in the face, and now coming back, keeping that arm nice and straight. And control that band starting off with 10 to 15. So the last exercise is on the ground. It's gonna be a modified push-up, or some people call them girl push-ups whatever. So you're going to be on your knees, arms out in front of you, and then kind of straighten out your body and then come down and back up. So it doesn't have to be a full push up, but this is just getting that pressure through your shoulder, strengthening those muscles to keep everything nice and stable. So again, just start off, you know, maybe with 10 of them and then work your way up from there. So there you have it. Those were your exercises for shoulder instability. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you'd like to check out some other videos, go to AskDrJoe.com. Remember, be safe. Don't let it pop back out. Have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.